Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brett Sorrell, I'm a magician and entertainer and this channel just helps me share some information and tips that I've learned with working in the wedding industry. Today I'm again with Julie from... Nothing but wedding cards. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk today about the five reasons that you need wedding cards. So hi everybody, once again I'm with Julie and from Nothing But Wedding Cars. If you haven't seen our last video, go and check that out where we chat about all the cars and everything that they do and everything they provide and what we should be looking for when we're choosing our wedding cars. Today we're gonna to look at the five reasons that you need a wedding car. So the first one is the obvious one and that is getting to the wedding itself and getting to the wedding venue. Is that right? Absolutely, but getting there in style. So either in something um, vintage or you know something a little bit different yeah yeah and and when i turn up at a venue it's a bit like um when we we're kids and we went to a children's party and looking for the balloons when you turn up a venue if there's not a wedding car there i'm kind of is there a wedding yeah have i got the right place <laughs> um so it's expectation isn't it is it's what people expect the, the bride and the groom yeah. to arrive in um even if it's at, at that venue it's it's a nice thing to have it's nice dressing isn't it and also it's a once in a lifetime so you want your journey to be pretty special you don't yeah. want to you know roll up in a taxi it's got to be yeah. something a bit um special and memorable yeah um, and it's a nice time to just relax and, and just do it. Take a breath, yeah. take a breath and spend that all important time with um, some, some of the people that mean a yeah. lot to you. And, and have a look at the cars. Uh, it's a special journey, it's definitely, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm jealous of people getting married in this. <laughs> so that kind of brings us to the second point of arriving in style and, and dressing the venue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's that's what a car does. Is, is yeah, well. I mean, almost like the, the love letters that you have inside, outside uh, yeah. the venue. And obviously not every venue is the most beautiful from the outside. So therefore your wedding car can actually dress the venue yeah. and give the photographer really a lovely backdrop to the photos. Yes. And and also I, I, I've got a just a, cl a classic mini. And so I know, and I always point this out to the kids, that when we're driving along, people do look, people, mm. people are looking, even though it's just a, a, mm. a kind of regular mini. That's that gives you that real special feeling on your yeah. own day, doesn't it? People and you'll, are watching. And you'll find that um, the wedding cars become a real talking point of the guests. Yes. And the guests can't wait to try and get in there and get a photo <laughs> taken with the car as well. Although obviously the focus is on the couple. Yes. On the day. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so that leads on perfectly to point number three, and that is photos and theming. Yeah, I mean, that's what, if you think at the after your wedding, that's what ultimately you have isn't it obviously yeah. the memories but the photos so your wedding cars help with your overall theme so they can complement it and complement your venue yeah. so that often helps you choose the cars in the first place um, but also your photographer can get quite creative with the yes. photos and especially when you look at something like this and um, we you know we're in a, a fabulous vintage VW then um, the, the types of photos you can get it's it's designed quite communally so you'd be amazed how many people we've had sat in this um, yeah. particular camper van or, or the others as well um, to get some lovely photographs rather than the traditional staged and that, that gets people laughing and smiling and yeah. enjoying them it, it's that I, I know working with photographers, I, sometimes I have a photographer just follow me because they think, yeah. oh, there's nothing going on, but let's follow Brett and then we'll get some reactions. Yeah. And you guys are the same. You, you, you've got something really special here. And then when you get a few bridesmaids in giggling with a bit of champagne. Yeah, you know, the groom's, the grooms Yeah. <laughs> It gives you something and, and it creates that moment and it creates really special moments, doesn't it? You'd, you'd be amazed how many times the photographers say, oh, thank goodness it's you guys. <laughs> <laughs> because they know that yes. we know what we're doing and also yeah. we know how they can get the best from the cars yeah. and get those special photos. Great memories, great cars. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So point number four is the romantic drive. <sighs> <laughs> love the romantic drive not all venues have great backdrops so a couple might want to um leave the the venue for a little bit go off have a drive have some nice photos um and, and get out of the venue and have that quiet moment together mm -hmm. is, is that right yeah and 
that that is increasingly more and more popular that where a couple are having everything taking place at one venue yeah and of course up until you know at this point they haven't really seen each other they've, well they've seen each other at the altar yes um and they've taken the vows and then this is the opportunity for them to get away a bit of one-on-one -on -one, a bit of romantic time to be able to talk about well, how was it for you how's the yes. build up been how are you feeling um have a little bit of bubbly as well and maybe go to a nice secluded um spot or um local beauty spot to have some additional photos yes yes and so many of the couples that take advantage of that romantic drive um look back on it is is something that added something really special to their day yeah. And, and I remember when I got married, it was, it was that, that moment of, of suddenly you're surrounded by all your friends and then uh, suddenly that moment, even if it sneaks up on you, you don't realise you're kind of like, oh, it's just us. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and you've got your packs in the car so they can, yeah. they can take that breather, they can sort their makeup up and, yeah. and, and this kind of stuff. And just take a bit of downtime away from and everyone, just, yes. just privately. Yes. Um, and just, as I say, there's the opportunity for some yeah. extra, very special photos that nobody else sees. Yes, yes, and, that and makes they can special. choose where they have them totally. Exactly, then, exactly. Because you can take them there, and also if couples um, sometimes bride and grooms have their own gifts to each other, it's yeah, a lovely time to to, to give do those. Them. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. yeah. And the fifth reason I think has got to be, it's not just about the bride and groom, it's got to be about the guests as well, mm. hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, from the moment the, the car arrives, and again, when you've gone for something like this, um, it literally turns everybody's heads. But, well, the bride and groom are off having, you know, their photos, yeah. um, uh, you know, privately in maybe some of the gardens, the cars give an opportunity for the guests to sort of mingle have a chat with the driver yeah. and when when they're quite iconic ones um, the guests do love to speak to the driver and, and like to have their photos taken <laughs> so in experts. a way it's, it's, a, it's a bit of entertainment for the guests as yes. well yes. so a bit of unexpected um, entertainment yes. and you don't need a second photographer everybody's got yeah, camera phones exactly. these days a little video or fun. quick do instagram live or, or whatever just you know take yeah. advantage that they're there to be enjoyed and, and, and just entertainment absolutely yeah. and yeah I'm, I'm loving being in one of these not only because it's warm in here <laughs> poor old john's freezing outside can't tempt you with another wedding <laughs> no don't um but yeah it's just i uh, just sitting here it's, it's just so cool <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I'm going to chuck in a bonus one as well. Oh, and, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think <laughs> the bonus one is because you can. Reason mm. number six or the bonus reason is it's your wedding day. Uh, you know, it's it's for you to express what you want, what you want to do. And what a great opportunity just to hire a really cool car mm. and, and just do it. And that's it's probably one of the reasons why you got into it yourselves. Yeah. You know, it's business. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just something, yeah, let's let's do it. And it's fantastic. Definitely do it. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. What a lovely uh, morning spend looking at some cars and chatting about wedding cars. And I really hope this has helped uh, some couples there. If they're looking for wedding cars, don't forget to check out uh, Julie's website, uh, which is www.nothingbutweddingcars.co.uk. And Julie and John will chat to you more about what they can find um, and some great ideas about wedding cars. So thanks for watching and uh, thank you very much, Julie. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. You're welcome. welcome. Bye bye. That's a wrap. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>